Hi all, my name is Krzysztof, I'm from Kalisthenics A3 and I would like to show you my back lever training that is intended to take about 30 minutes and it is uh, composed of the four individual sets ex of exercises that will uh, grow your strength and at the same time uh, they will warm you up to prevent any injuries when you progress to a harder progression. progression was uh, something like skin the cat but in a bow position. It's actually a pre-warm-up exercise that uh, allows your body to adapt to another progression uh, when the strain on your uh, body is uh, bigger. And what you need to focus on is to have straight arms and to rotate the rings so the palms faces downwards. The thing that I use is to bring your body up to the position, starting position by lifting yourself, holding straight arms and this helps you to build uh, the strength uh, instead of just jumping in. The second progression I use is what they call advanced tuck, when you open yourself up from the ball position and extend your legs outwards. It's much more difficult because the lever, the lever is uh, bigger. Uh, the same as for the ball, you need to keep your straight arms straight and what I encourage you to do is try to lift yourself from the position when you are lowered back to the neutral position, the starting position, because it allows you to feel how you should pull yourself up with the straight arms. And it's much more difficult than just lowering down, but it builds the strength needed for much harder progressions and actually the full uh, back lever. Why I progress from the back lever to front lever, I mean from the tack to tack, is because I realized that after a long period of training I started to feel some muscle imbalances uh, because my front side of my body was uh, more developed than my back side. Because when you actually do a back lever training there is much more pressure on your front deltoids and your chest rather than on your back. And because I was only doing the back lever I realized that when I uh, when I walk, I, I my my arms start to you know rotate inwards, and this is bad for the posture, especially when you are sitting a uh, long time in front of a computer or sitting at home. is the one leg only back lever and this is a much harder progression where you're starting to feel what the leverage does to your body and how it affects the overall the condition. Uh, as you notice I am not able to push myself back and this is because I'm not strong enough yet however it's a very good feeling when you try to be uh, uh, parallel to the crowd when you need to you know, focus on contracting all the necessary muscles to perform this progression. What I usually do is I perform three sets of each progression 
And as far as, far as the, uh, this is back lever is a strength training. So the amount of uh, rest between each set should be about not less than one and a half minute to three minutes uh, because you want to have all the strength necessary to perform each progression. So this is not a conditioning training uh, nor a stamina training, it's, it's pure strength. So you need to have enough rest between each set. Notice on my first set, I'm not able to do a full back lever. However, there are several things that I would like to focus on. When performing a back lever, the first thing is you have to have straight arms. Your palms need to be facing downwards. It is the feeling like you would like to rotate the rings outwards. Uh, this puts uh, put a much effort on your biceps because you have to remain with your uh, arm completely straight. The next thing, and this is very important, your scapula, your shoulders should be depressed and contracted forward. And when you do it actually, you build something like a frame which consists of your arms, your chest and another arm which supports you uh, when you're doing back lever. The rest is up to your core which uh, just, you know, which just uh, supports your entire body. And you need to contract your entire body from, from, your, you know, from your toes to your head. And this is very, very difficult and demanding. That's why I'm, I'm so exhausted. My second set, I thought it was better, but I think I was lacking like at least 30 degrees to the uh, power hour. What is worth mentioning is that when you are doing such demanding skill, when you need to contract uh, many muscles at the same time, I would recommend, and I spotted it on the Google Bistem uh, webpage, that what actually make it easier for me is to close your eyes because when you shut down your vision you can actually try to feel and contract the muscles that are needed. The second thing that is I think worth mentioning when you're doing the back lever, you need to focus on when you lower your body when you are doing it. One additional tip is that when you're trying to do a back lever and you extend your legs, try to squeeze your legs by pressing one feet against the other and it will help you uh, uh, contract
contract the, the abdominal muscles which will support your entire body. Please like the video if you like it or leave a comment or subscribe or visit our Facebook page and keep doing good work and keep progressing forward.